All right, if you're an ultrasound student or a potential student, you probably have heard or seen this book online, Understanding Ultrasound Physics by Sidney K. Edelman. And it's this gentleman right here. I think that picture might be old because I was told he was retired, but apparently he's still teaching in the webinars. You probably hear a lot of people online say like everything you need to know uh, how to pass the SBI is within this book. This book is the gold standard. And a lot of them, I don't think, tell you exactly why it's considered the gold standard. Uh, basically, it's a very comprehensive book. It covers everything from artifacts, um, how sound travels through a medium. Uh, it covers uh, how the transducer works, how the ultrasound machine itself works. Uh, it covers phantoms, and of course, the most important chapter are all Doppler. Uh, most ultrasound programs will um, base their lectures on this material from this book. I mean, look, sound beams. You know, it gives you, you know, uh, the near zone, far zone, focal zone, all the parts of the sound beam. Like, did you know that a sound beam has like different areas? You know, this book covers that. Just trying to kind of show you like different chapters of everything that is, is contained within the book. At the end of every chapter, there is like a set of questions with answers. There are your little study guides for that chapter. At the end of the book, uh, there's also a study guide. Um, there's like plenty of questions with answers. And a lot of these questions you can probably find on the SBI itself as well. Other books will uh, either not cover um, as much material as this book covers, or maybe it just comes out a little too convoluted. And this pretty much explains it everything pretty clear for you. Of course, I mean, it is a lot to, of material to go through, and it's not easy. Ultrasound physics is not easy. Passing the SPI is not easy. Like, this book could be your salvation and also the bane of your existence. Here's the transducer chapter. Yeah. It shows you all the different components, how they work together. And yeah, that's basically it. This is why a lot of people recommend this book because, you know, it teaches you everything you need to know. You know, transducer rays, linear, annular, convex, you'll learn everything in class and you'll use them all too. So if your program doesn't use this book, I recommend getting it because it will help you a lot. All right, I hope this.